Hi everybody and welcome to webinar number 21 for Diamond Club Australia. Go ahead and start off with our agenda today. We've had a great week and it's the last week here of April, of our third month of Diamond Club and we've seen a lot of great things. Just want to say congratulations to everybody for the work that they've put in this week. We're going to have a, another great week this week. I'm I'm sure of it as it's the last week of the month trying to reach your goals and reach those new ranks as well. So just so you know, we're going to go ahead and start off with a guest speaker in Natalie and Andy Goddard, um, some presidential diamonds that many of you know and have even met through different conventions and and many times that they've spoken to, uh, to all of us. And I'm sure th I know that they are some of your upline. So it's good to hear from them shortly. And we're going to go through some information about how you're going and where you should be at currently for the month as far as enrollments and with your goals. Um, we're also going to do a little looking towards May of, of the goals towards the end of Diamond Club as it is our last month. And then we'll go into some other information about reimbursements and the current standing. So we'll go ahead and give Natalie and Andy the time right now. They are, like I said, presidential diamonds and great leaders um, as well as advocates for doTERRA. So I'll go ahead and unmute them to see if we can have them here. Are you there, Natalie and Andy? Yes, yeah. we are. Can you hear us? Yes, we can. So I'll just go ahead and give you the time now and to share with us, if you would. Yeah, happy to. Thanks so much for having us on. And we always love connecting with our uh, our team down under and everyone that's just uh, our, our home away from home. So That's right. Thank you, Logan, for the invitation. And yes, it feels right at home to be here with you tonight. We love Australia. Excellent. We'll go oh. ahead and let you guys continue then. Awesome. Well, this is a, a topic that's actually top of mind for us right now. Um, we have a, a builder on our team that we were coaching with recently. And they were just getting really frustrated. They kept saying, you know, I feel like I, you know, I keep telling people what to do. I, you know, I, I present, I present, I present, but no one's listening. No one's following. I just feel like, um, you know, I have all this knowledge and I, I know how to be successful, but my people just won't do what I tell them to do. And um, Nab and I did some, you know, a little bit of questions and trying to find out where they, you know, what, what exactly is going on. And the more we asked, the more we discovered that um, this builder is doing a great job of talking and a horrible job of listening. Um, so what we mean by that is um, <clears throat> people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. So our job is to be a solutions provider. The people who get paid the very most are those who solve the biggest and the most problems. So how are you going to know what those problems are? How are you going to identify the unmet needs in any group that you're speaking to? Um, well, what we'd like to suggest tonight is that your first job is to be a great listener. Your first job is to identify people's unmet needs. This can happen in a one-on-one, -on -one. it can happen in a group setting, it can happen over the phone. <clears throat> no matter wh where you are or who you're connecting with, your first job is to connect. And in that connection, if you are, um, if, if you have trained yourself to listen and, and to listen deeper than just the words they're saying, you will come to hear that people are broadcasting their needs 24-7. And they will let you know, you know, my health is a wreck, my finances are a wreck, my, my, my relationships are broken. You'll hear it in, in a various different um, myriad of ways, but the, the message is um, so consistent. People are, um, are they're crying for your solutions. You have 
the, the bridge that will get them to where they want to be. And your, uh, your job, if you, if you can call it that, is to show them the bridge, to, to simply help them understand where they are, where they want to be, and how what you're offering is the solution. So let's take this from a really high level conversation down to a really practical conversation. So the very first time you're sharing a sample with someone, you, you know, when we got, got started in doTERRA, Natalie was calling old friends, she was reconnecting, um, reaching out to um, pretty much everyone in our circle of influence, and she would ask really basic questions. You know, how are you doing? How's the family? What are you excited about? Where's your passion? What are your, um, what are your goals? What are your dreams? And within minutes of every conversation, she was really good at picking up on their needs. And um, just to give you a little tip, people are constantly tuned in to one radio station. And we call, often call it We FM. What's in it for me? So um, as, as, we, as Natalie would connect with these people, she would first listen, and then she would uh, speak to the needs that she heard in those conversations. So you know, some people it was health needs. Some people it was financial. Um, her sister was uh, working night jobs three or four nights a week, leaving the children. Um, the kids were crying as she would leave every time. Guess what that is? That's a ginormous unmet need. So Natalie would hear this need and she would say, you know, um, let me, can I tell you about something that I've been doing? And she would speak to how doTERRA was the bridge that would get them to the destination where they want to be. She would help them see how this could solve that unmet need and, and meet it in a big way. And so this, the same thing applies not only when you're inviting to a class, but also when you're presenting a class. So in an interactive um, classroom setting, um, what your very first job is to connect, connect with the group. Um, you know, the best way to do that is, is ask them enrolling questions. You know, how many of you tonight would like to take your health to the next level? How many of you would like to experience energy and vitality and, and, and just feel alive again? Um, so that's, that's how we connect. Then, uh, very early on in the class, we encourage people to ask, what are some of, the, some of your health goals? What are you working for? What, you know, where, where would you like to be that you're not currently? And as we come to understand their health goals and their priorities, we, we customize, we tailor that class to those very individual specific needs. What I love about this, Andy, is, you know, when we when we share who we are and we're bringing that brilliance to the class people are they feel it they're connecting to it because we're addressing what's in it for them we've asked them what are their health priorities right so i encourage you to you know after you ask that enrolling question tell your story share from your heart be authentic that doesn't need to take a lot of time have a two to three minute story where you share about how doTERRA helped you from where you were and that pain point whatever it was for you to where you are now and and then what that means to you I used to say it simply like this um, I was a mother with two young children and you know it, it was after I had those two children that I realized oh my goodness it's not having another child is not going to fill this hole in me so I realized that because I lost my mom at a young age I still had some healing to do and so at that point I was looking for healing I came in contact with a massage therapist that used essential oils and music in her massage and it was so incredibly healing for me and because I experienced that healing and began to become more whole and more whole with every time I use those oils um, that's why I'm here tonight I'm here tonight 
because my life is different. I am more complete because of these oils, and my children and family are complete because of that. And even when I was down in Australia, I would say, and, and I'm here tonight, halfway around the world from where I've, I've been born and raised to share this message because it means so much to me. So help people feel that, right? And then go to their health priorities so that then they can take, they can take that gap that Andy was talking about and see how to get there. I love how he was talking about selling the destination. You know, you know, you think about uh, going on a trip and you don't want to sell the airlines, right? You don't want to sell why Virgin Australia is the best airlines in the world or why doTERRA is the best airlines in the world. You want to sell the destination. Why do they want to get to Hawaii? Why do they want to get to health and wellness? You want to sell that destination and you do that by asking powerful questions. And one of those is just what are your health priorities and then you listen. I like to also pull out how much pain you know, those health priorities are, are in their current state, whether it's time, energy, money, what's it costing them, you know? So if this isn't built into the class that you're using, build it in. Add this part in so that you've got people really aware of where their pain points are and where they're currently at, where they want to be, and then you can show them doTERRA as that option to get where they want to be. I think this is one of the ways that Natalie was able to get so many of her contacts to, um, to learn more because she was able to, to show to them, um, you know, this is a real pain point in your life and getting to this class is going to help you uh, find the solution. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, oh, hey, I'm learning about these cute oils, you should come along. It's like, hey, your life is going to be um, massively transformed mm -hmm. if you will be at this event. I even tell people I love that. I love that language because now I say, you know, um, if we know what one of their health priorities is, and I'm like, wow, what would your life be like if you knew how to address, you know, um, or how, if you knew how to support your liver and you wouldn't be experiencing what you just told me all about? How would that be for you? And just kind of help them see the possibilities of that. And then I also like to say, you know, what I love about a class is that in, in, less, in 60 to 90 minutes, you'll learn what it's taken me years to learn because we bring it together in a class and you'll go home with so many natural solutions, you'll be amazed. And I love that word, natural solutions. We're kind of natural solutions junkies here. We love that concept because they really bring solutions for so many parts of people's lives to so many of the problems or issues that people are facing. And, and we are, we're so incredibly blessed in doTERRA because we, not only do we have wellness solutions, but we also have prosperity solutions. We have solutions that can help people experience prosperity financially. So it's not just this physical abundance that we're offering, it's so much more. So going back to this uh, builder that Natalie and I were coaching, you know, we, we said our, our coaching to you would be um, do a lot less talking and a lot more listening. Um, focus more on them and where they are and their needs and less on you and how you think you know everything. Um, at the end of the day, there, there was some real humility needed there for him to say, hey, maybe I don't know how, you know, the one and only way to be successful in Oterra. You know, what, what he needed to uh, sort of come to terms with was um, <clears throat> people have very individualized needs. Some are going to be drawn to the product. Some are going to be drawn to the opportunity. And, and some neither at this time, right? Sometimes it's just a matter of timing. But um, to assume that we know what's best um, is, is really going to turn off our listeners. And, and they will tune out and check out. People, people can tell when you are there to serve them versus whether you are there for 
you know, your own personal gain or for any other purpose. Uh, people get that energetically very, very quickly and very easily. So that was, um, I think, a, a huge breakthrough for this builder of ours to realize, um, wow, okay, I, I need to stop uh, kind of um, just preaching and, and sermonizing about how everyone should follow me. And maybe if I actually listen and, and hear their needs and speak to their issues and, and really address their concerns, they'll be naturally drawn to, to listen uh, to what I have to share and actually follow. Um, what I've found is that um, the very best leaders are also the very best followers. And what I mean by that is we have to come to where people are, kind of match their, their energy, um, sort of tune in to where they are, and then we're able to lead them to the next level. Um, I, I very rarely um, see people who um, who just live in this, you know, upper stratosphere, and people just, um, you know, trans just kind of jump to that level. What I see more often is the leaders um, through service. Um, get to connect with people and lead them along step by step to to rise up to better health, to new financial uh, possibilities, uh, and to creating the life that they desire. So um, that's kind of um, my uh, some of my thoughts and recent experiences with the importance of of being a great listener and using listening, especially in a classroom setting. To, to get people to not only feel cared for, but also to, to help them take massive action. Um, what I've found is that people will um, act to the level that they, their needs are met. So if, if you don't know what their needs are, it'll be really hard for you to meet their needs. And if, if you're unable to... <clears throat> Uh, demonstrate to them the depth and the breadth of the solutions that doTERRA provides, a again, you'll be uh, hard-pressed to inspire very much action. Um, what we found is that the people who have the greatest success are, are first coming to their audience um, as, you know, with, with these compassionate ears, with this uh, huge heart that just wants to be open and and take them in and um, just just serve them at every level. And then um, through our teaching and through our uh, storytelling and through our inv inviting, we can invite them to um, <clears throat> and inspire them to take action, to enroll, to, uh, to even join us in doing the business uh, because, we, because they've been served, because they feel um, so genuinely cared for. So, um, any, any questions so far? Uh, I don't know if this is meant to be an interactive format or not, but do we, uh, do we want to open up for questions or? Yeah, I can go ahead and do that. Let me just see if we have any questions here. Sure. It doesn't look like we have any right now. No worries. I, I'm, you're probably used to just having this be kind of a one-way format, so that's correct. That's, that's totally fine too. Um, well, tell me how much uh, time you want us to take, because I could probably go all night, but I'm guessing you've got a, other topics to cover too. That's correct. I, my section will only be about another five or ten minutes, so I mean, if you do have another couple of minutes to share, that would be great. Okay. So probably about five to ten minutes.
Okay, there we go. We'd like to thank Natalie and Andy for their participation and their information that they've given us. All right, looks like they went away for a minute and looks like they might be back. Let's see if we can, I think we have some questions here. Can you, can you guys hear me? If you could hear me, if you could please raise your hand, that'd be great. Okay, can you hear us? There we go. It looks like you're back on. Awesome. I don't know what happened there, but we... Uh, Lost internet. Yeah, I just dropped out for a sec. All right, it looks like we have you back on and everyone can hear. So go ahead whenever you're ready. Thank you. Got to love technology, right? Yeah, it's tough sometimes. So, <laughs> so um, as I was saying, the... Um, <clears throat> The ability to listen is crucial at every phase in the business. So um, we, we listen when we invite, we listen when we present a class, and then while we're presenting class, we say um, anyone who enrolls tonight will also get a free wellness consult. And a wellness consult is, is where we basically take the general information that they've obtained in the class and they, they personalize it, they customize it to them and their health goals. And we really help them open up their products and start using them and integrating them. So the, the wellness consult is one of the very best opportunities we have to keep listening, to really hear where they are, where their family's uh, health goals are, and, um, and even to, to start to uh, plant the seed and, and feel out the possibility of them uh, hosting a class and or building doTERRA as a business. So um, the, the wellness consult becomes this perfect little um, bubble of follow-up where we can continue to show them we care, we can um, <clears throat> open the door for them to take the next step and um, make sure that they're uh, getting the product um, open and, and making good use of it. 
it's really the chance to turn their, their membership into a lifestyle. So um, that's, that's kind of the next gate. And then, uh, you know, as we continue, if they do choose to build or host, um, as we uh, support them in their journey, as we coach them, um, really the very best mentors that Natalie and I have ever had are some of the very best listeners that we know. Um, in fact, we have a weekly call with, with one of our coaches and mentors, and she's just, um, she's such a good listener that we can tell her that we're doing just fine, and she can tell if, if we're not. Um, so um, really this, this whole art of listening is, um, I think, the, the biggest uh, obstacle to that is just getting past yourself. Um, you know, to, to stop thinking about, you know, what are others going to think of me, not, not to worry and focus on how we look or how we sound, but if we just tune into them and, and what their um, <clears throat> current experience is with their health and, and finances, um, what I found is when we become outwardly focused, uh, we have so much more success and we really have the kind of breakthroughs that we're looking for. Uh, we're able to connect and inspire and, and, and reach them wherever they are. I like to think about it or visualize it as, you know, I'm not holding up a mirror looking at me, you know, between me and that other person. I really am looking through a window and even inviting them to come and so, or going myself to where they are standing so I can see the world as they do. And that really supports me in helping them get what they want, you know? I want to help them get what they want in a way I feel good about. And so many times they have no idea of what doTERRA really has to offer them. And they just need somebody that will ask questions and help them do that. Help them see what that can be. So, one of the other ways that I love to um, to use questions to help people uh, go to the next level, and I think are real is really useful in Diamond Club for you right now is in closing or enrolling. And if you haven't, um, this one of my very favorite keys of just giving you some of the best questions. It's actually called Six Keys to Close, and we made, um, there's a whole page in the launch guide that you can find at sharesuccess.com, and there's a, a free video that you can just watch at the bottom of the launch page under Enroll, and it basically goes over six keys to close. And I'm going to tell you um, a few of these brilliant questions that will be so useful in your closing process. Remember, if you take that time to listen and ask the right questions, you're going to tap into the brilliance. The first question I love, you know, you've, let's say in the close, you've taught the class, you've then said, hey, you know, I'm so excited, just like we talked about in the beginning of the class um, today, I'm here to educate and empower you, and to, now it's time for you to find out how to get the these oils into your home and into your life. So you can choose retail or wholesale. Here's um, the most popular kits. doTERRA puts together a great collection of their most incredible product and they bring them together in these kits. And so what I like to do is have you take a look at these and see which of these might best meet your needs and choose the kit that works best for you. I like to explain, you know, here's the diamond kit that really will let you experience every product that doTERRA has. Here's the every oil kit, you know, and I'll talk about, hey, this is the best value. Um, for neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, to work and use uh, people's incredible mental capacity, it really helps them to, if you'll start at the top, you'll create that value with going to the diamond kit first and then the every oil kit of you can experience one of each oil in this kit and this will give you this additional savings. 
then highlight um, the other favorite kits that you have there. I believe you have Natural Solutions Kit down under. And we like to show just where that value is. Um, as we teach the Family Physician Kit, I teach that that's just a sampler pack. And that sampler kit, uh, you can get three times as much oil for less than half the price with the Home Essentials Kit or your equivalent down there in Australia. So I've given this, exam this, this overview. And then um, I've also said, you know, and what I love about doTERRA is they take care of their loyal customers. They actually have a program that gives you free product back for being a loyal customer. And that's the Loyalty Rewards Com Program, and you're going to want to know about that as you purchase in the future. It's simply the smartest way to buy. So for now, you just choose your kit, and then in the future, you um, get your Loyalty Rewards um, order set up, and you're good to go. So I've explained all this, then I turn to the order form and I explain, you know, just simply check your kit right here and then fill in your personal details. And um, then I, you know, talk about the treats that are over here. Sometimes uh, we often use an incentive just like you have available in Diamond Club to help close, close right then. One thing that we use is, um, a keychain and so we'll have taught about the keychain during the class and then as part of the close you know I'll say there's the keychains over on the counter and all of you that want a kit tonight all of you that sign up for a kit tonight can take that keychain home with you and if you choose to host a class you can go ahead and start filling those with some of the oils that we talked about tonight okay so um, Feel free if you are ready to book a class with me. I've got my calendar right there, or you can write down a few dates and then I'll get in contact with you. Just put your details right there and we'll get your class set up. But you can take that keychain home filled tonight after the class and then you'll have that to use until your product gets to you. So once I've given that ex uh, explanation I just say thank you so much for being here tonight it's been such an honor to be with you and to learn this together I'm so excited for you to experience this in your life and ha experience some of what I've experienced in my life it's going to be life-changing and I'll also say over here in just a moment we'll talk about if you'd like to host a class or learn how to do what I do in building a business by sharing these oils um, we'll be talking about that in five or ten minutes over here and then break so I break at that point and at that point I I've, I've told everybody what to do so uh, about um, 10 sometimes 20 percent they will just fill up the form they'll already know what they're looking for they'll already know which kit they want um, some will be looking there through the resource books or resource guides and um, and then they'll make a choice. But there's always those that just need more support. So you can identify those and be going around to help them. And my first question that I like to ask is from the six keys to close, and it is, what are we working on? What are you working on? Um, and you're looking over their top health priorities that you talked about earlier in the class and helping them, oh yeah, remember this reference guide right here? Let's look it up and see what the top resources are or solutions are for you. And then the second question I love to use is, how serious are you about resolving these things right now? And as I ask that, I can tell how much they're willing to spend today just from that question. How serious are you about resolving these things right now? If they say they're serious, what do you think? Show them the benefits and the value of the diamond kit, the every oil kit, and the natural solutions kit. Show them the value of the higher priced kits. These kits will get them on their way to supporting their health right now at the best price and value. But if they say they're not serious, that's an indicator that they can't quite see how these are solutions in their life. And they, it might be more appropriate to start with the home essentials kit or a family physician kit or the, I can't remember what you call it down there. So. Um, 
and these basic kits to start out with. Um, and then uh, after you're in that position and you've talked through that a little bit, the next key I like to use is, if I were you, I would do this. And this whole time, remember, you've used powerful questions. You're listening, and then you're responding. But now, sometimes people, were, they're entering this whole new area. They never, maybe they knew nothing about essential oils before they came to the class, and here you are asking them to make a decision. So sometimes in the very beginning, they just need more hand-holding. And if I were you, I would helps them know what you would choose and give them more confidence in making a choice. Um, once you get a sense of what would be a good fit for them, tell them what you'd do. Put a pen in their hand and turn to the enrollment form. And then you just move on to help the next person and assume that they're going to fill out that enrollment form. And then when you come back around to check on them, if they haven't filled out their form, most people, okay, so at this point, you're going to have like another 60%. This will take care of them, and they'll all have their forms filled out. And at this point, you, you've got some powerful questions to um, discover some concerns. Because if they haven't filled out their form at this point, there's some concerns. And then I like to ask the questions, what are the factors you're considering in making this decision? And this is usually going to just bring up their concern. It'll float to the surface. And, and what's the best way to resolve a concern? Honestly, again, it's listening, right? They need to feel understood before they can move past this concern, typically. So if you listen to the short ant to the two-word response, and then you start in solving their problem or resolving their concern, it may not be enough. Make sure you've listened enough. If you wonder about another angle of it, ask another question. Ask a second layer question that will take you a little bit deeper. And then do your best to resolve them by sharing the benefits that they get here, reminding them of that destination that we talked about. And if they still don't fill out their form, then you go to question number five, which is, is there anything we haven't discussed that will affect your decision? And then sometimes they may not have said, well, I'm, you know, my husband's in this situation, or I don't have the means to do it right now. I didn't want to have to tell you, but this is where we are financially, da-da-da. Um, this will usually reveal that, right? And that question again is, is there anything we haven't discussed that will affect your decision? And then... The last question, and I love this one, is what do you think is the next best step for you? So at this point, you know, after every time you ask the question, you're waiting, you're listening, you're helping them resolve their concerns, then giving them the opportunity to fill out the rest of the form. If they don't, then you go to the next question and to the next question. And at this point, we're letting them choose. What do you think is the next best step for you? You want to support them and honor their needs. You know, I say something just like that. Hey, I'm just here to support you and honor your needs. I want you to find the solutions that will serve you in your life. What do you think is the next next best step for you? And and sometimes some people just make decisions differently. Some people are fact finders. They need more data. They're going to go home and search on the Internet all night about this new company that they um, just learned about, and then three days later, they're going to say, I'm in, I want to do this as a business, or I'm in, I love this product, here I go, um, and, and that's okay, right? But helping them know that you're there to support them and help them, and letting them choose what the next best step for them will help them be in total choice and moving forward in that kind of power. So... Those are the six keys to close. Um, awesome video on that if you want um, to hear that in a few different ways. I like to, when we first filmed that, I just thought it was so brilliant. It took some of what I was doing to even a deeper science. Emily Pfeiffer, she's an amazing diamond. She highlights that and does a video on that. It's just at sharesuccess.com forward slash launch or click on the launch. 
and then just go down to the videos at the bottom and that's under enroll, the enroll tab. Six keys to close. So we've gone over um, several things tonight. Remembering to ask those questions, make it an interactive class, let them know what the destination is they're going to get by attending that class. Um, customize the class. Make it according to their health priorities. Ask somebody to share, hey, what are your health priorities? And get a, a few people sharing from the audience. Listen to them. Listen to those prospects. Listen to your customers. Listen to your builders. And that will bring you success in doTERRA. When I think of builders that are blocked, um, I typically if I get in a situation where I'll just listen to them and will discover, oh my goodness, you know, I didn't even know this about them. I didn't even know that this was happening or I didn't know that this was their why. Now I know their why and I can help bring this in and help them remember that when these challenges are coming their way or whatever it is that they're experiencing. So use powerful questions, use your listening gifts. Um, remember, you can become an incredible listener because you care. And as you focus more on them and less on you, you're going to experience more and more success in doTERRA. We are so grateful for you and what you're doing in Diamond Club Australia. What an honor to be with you tonight. And again, we know what you are putting out there. We know you give your heart and soul to bring these gifts to the people all around you. And we are so incredibly grateful. We honor you for all that you are, all that you are creating. Know that the seeds that you plant today, the seeds that you plant in these upcoming days, they will harvest. They will come to fruition. They're, the harvest cannot be prevented. You are planting seeds that will serve those individuals and create value for them and their families for a lifetime. And you will experience the joy, the fruits, you'll, you'll grow yourself, you'll change lives, and you'll get paid for it. And I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. Thank you again for having us here tonight, Logan. No worries. Thank you so much, Andy and Natalie, for what you've given us today, all the insight and information. We've all learned a lot, and we have a lot of new things to put on our plate to, to make some great success in our futures. I've, I've really awesome. enjoyed everything, and I know everyone else has as well. So thank you so much. Awesome. Hey, one last parting note, Logan. I know that it can feel overwhelming sometime, and, you know, I think that all of you Diamond Clubbers out there, you're doing an amazing job. You are enough right now as you are. Take in a little bit more. Just let it become a part of you. Don't worry about the mechanics. Just let it be you. Just your caring, your loving, your wanting to make a difference will be enough. So don't feel like you've got to do it perfectly or in any way that you're not enough. You've got this. You're doing amazing work and you're enough today just as you are. That will make all the difference in somebody else's life. Just open your mouth and it'll all work out. <laughs> Keep it up. Excellent, thank you so much. All right, we'll go ahead and continue. Um, again, everybody, I'll go ahead and I've written some notes and I'll be sending those out in our email as well. Um, go ahead and thank the, the Goddards again. I've muted them so <laughs> we haven't, we won't be able to, to hear from them uh, for the rest of the webinar. We'll go ahead and get those notes out. I'm definitely going to be listening to this webinar again for that information from them. They are amazing leaders and they are presidential diamonds and leaders within doTERRA and their community for a reason. You guys can see that. So we'll go ahead and, and move on with the, the webinar today. So how are you guys going? Where are you at at this stage right now? How are your enrollments doing? You should be around 15 or 16 today to be on track to get 18 by the end of the month. Uh, a lot of you have already reached your goals, so you need to place them a little bit higher to finish even 
higher than that by the end of the month and some of you are are right at that level just trying to get to the end of the month and get those enrollments so use what you've learned today from the Goddards and their six keys to close and uh, how to empower yourself in a meeting how to empower and focus on serving others in order to get help them with their needs in their life to be able to enroll and get this business opportunity or health opportunity to them and working with them use what you have to do that so remember we only have a just this week left in this month to reach those goals then we'll start focusing on May the last month of Diamond Club so work with your team and your leaders to finish strong get ready for next month it's like I said the last month of Diamond Club it's our May fourth month uh, so it's our final push so prepare everything you can to have the best month possible in May just wanted to go ahead and give you guys some information on what's going to be happening in May I know it's not till next week I do want you to focus on this week and finishing it out strong just want to give you a little bit of a preview we will have a few more incentives that I will announce either by the end of the week or early next week in May for May we have the Diamond Club products for next month the 100 PV product is going to be past tense this is for all O TG local orders from Australia. The 400 PV is going to be the past tense and also the ice blue oil. Any NFR Australian orders or New Zealand orders, the 100 PV product is going to be the purify oil. And then the 400 PV will be the purify and deep blue. So we're, for all NFR or New Zealand orders, it's going to be purify instead of past tense. So just keep that in mind for May. And we'll go ahead and get some information out for goals and ranks. Are you meeting your goals and your ranks? Have you have you at least hit one more new rank in Diamond Club this year? Or have you solidified um, a rank during Diamond Club? I want you to make a goal to do that within this next month or this next week and the next month to be able to hit a new rank or solidify uh, a new rank that you haven't hit in a while. Maybe it was you did Diamond Club last year and you made it to gold or platinum and you haven't been able to hit that since then. Do what you can to set your goals and action steps in order to do that again this next month and to continue to hit those ranks and goals in the future. So anything you do now is going to affect what you do in the future, obviously. So plan accordingly to do so and to reach those ranks and goals. So what can you do the rest of Diamond Club to hit your new rank? Here's some good reflecting questions, and I want you all to be writing notes and, and steps down for you to be able to reach these new ranks and goals. So work with your teams in your needed qualified legs. So if you already have some substantial legs that are getting the, the qualified volume and hitting the ranks that are necessary, obviously you want to keep... Um, an update with them to see how they're doing to make sure that they're still hitting the ranks and the the qualifications that they need but if you don't have if you have some other legs that aren't quite qualifying obviously you want to focus there to maybe get some more enrollments or help your leaders focus on them and their needs in order to see what we can do to get those legs to qualify in the future to hit those new goal ranks okay so be to sorry be strategic in where you put your volume and those enrollments. Uh, remember you can do sponsor and enroller changes in order to help you out in that way. Sometimes that is necessary in order to build your team and your business to hit the qualifying goals and ranks. So work with your team and let them know what needs to happen and work with your leaders and especially your account managers. That's what they're there for to help you strategically place the volume where it needs to go to be able to hit those new ranks. We know you can do it. We know you have great goals and the great desire to do that. We just need to put that all to work and to focus on serving others in order to do that. And then every all the positive energy and service that you put out there in the world, it's going to come back and you will see the fruits from your labor like Natalie was telling us earlier. So work your hardest and smartest in this last part of Diamond Club, obviously. Give it your all. 
finish on a high note. All your hard work will pay off. Um, I like how what Natalie and Andy had shared with us is going together with what I've prepared here so much. I mean, I gave them a specific topic, but I didn't necessarily tell them to to say these specific things. And and just so you know, it it is coming together and meshing together as one to give you guys an idea of what you need to do to focus and, and to push forward. You guys can become great leaders. You can reach those ranks and those goals that you that you desire. So it's just about focusing on helping others and, and listening and meeting each other's needs in order to reach those goals. So just some reimbursement reminders as it is the last week of the month. The deadline for forms is going to be the end of the day, May 2nd. So that is a Monday. So you have that whole weekend. Saturday, I believe, is the last day of the month. So you have that day, Sunday and Monday, to put in those forms. Please send them in uh, as soon as possible so that we can go ahead and get you those reimbursements out. If they are later than that, you may not be in reverse reimbursed this month. So I do need you to send the reimbursement form, the event tracking sheet, and all your receipts that correspond to what you want to be reimbursed for on your reimbursement form so that I can make sure it all qualifies and get those submitted correctly. Uh, so don't submit it any later than the second. I know there is a, f a few days there where I'm still working on them. So if everyone gets in on the second, your reimbursements are going to come before the 15th or 16th. But I'm focusing on getting it paid out on the 16th, which is uh, two Mondays from then. So if you need any exceptions or you have any questions or concerns, please call member services and ask for me or just shoot me an email. I'm doing my best to focus on working with finance and commissions to work it all out and get it all correct and sent out as soon as possible. Sometimes there's a bit of delay in that, but we are getting it done and focusing on your reimbursements to help you get that money back for your hard work and travel. And I want to go ahead and show our top 20 for this week. Um, congratulations, guys. You are working really hard. You're doing great. We still have a few lead changes going on back and forth, uh, which is great competition, healthy competition. Um, obviously, you want to focus on your goals and building your teams and reaching those ranks. But obviously, there is a competition side to Diamond Club. So I want you to focus on that this last month. Do your best. Work your hardest, obviously, to reach your full potential in Diamond Club, and then you will receive what you are due in commissions, in your business, in your team, and uh, any prizes for the leaders, obviously. So congratulations to our top 20. We have Michelle Gay, John Croft, Lynn and Peter Guerin, Kisane Appleby, Tanya Zaida, Penny Hardy, Aaron Blott, Polly Delaney, Renee and Byron Twilley, Rosemary and Gavin Nearney, Margarita Humphreys, Kristen Thrush, Penny Huxtable, Michelle and Godfrey Tendall, Nicholas Fairbain, Jean Gotchling, Pip Hughes, Kira Fisher, Jenny Park, and Sam Bunker. Congratulations, guys. You are doing great. Everyone else, you're doing well also. I've seen the numbers. You guys are, are working. You're improving, which is what we want to see. Month by month improvements and reaching those new goals and ranks and volumes within your teams to, to focus on building each other up. It's really an amazing sight to see what you guys are doing. Again, there's my contact information, mainly the email, and then obviously the website with the rules and everything. As we go into this last month of Diamond Club, it's good to focus on the rules to get a, another re, quick refresh. I will be sending out periodic periodical um, emails with some rule information just to update you and refresh your memories of specific rules and things with Diamond Club so that we can stay on track and do everything uh, accordingly. So it's been a, a great week. Let's make this week a great one as well. Finish out this month strong and we'll see the success and all the, the ranks and goals that you guys will meet, okay? Have a great week and we'll we'll 
We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.